All right, we're back in the uh, shop inside now. The frame members are all cut, notched, and ready for assembly. All right, I'm going to start tapping the uh, notch joints, these cross lap uh, joints, and uh, into this we'll drive a 5 16 inch dowel that'll get flush sanded, uh, make a nice clean finish. Okay, we have our dowel rod in place in the first lap joint, and I'll just mark it here to, uh, for cutting. Uh, and I, what I want to do is cut all four of these at the same time, uh, but I want to test it, of course, to be sure that each one of these is the same depth. Never assume that they will be. Okay, we have our materials in place. The glue, waterproof glue. The dowel pins that'll uh, fit in those holes we just tapped. And a uh, selection of clamps, inexpensive ones, that will hold these uh, frame members to the cross member. Wow. We're going to uh, spread the glue uh, liberally over all these frame members, uh, get the pins coated uh, inside those holes, and then put it all together and clamp it up. Well, as you can see, I've applied these clamps. Uh, it's kind of a mess here. I'm going to turn this over and clean up the uh, excess glue. Um, most of that glue will get sanded off when I have to sand down the uh, dowel pegs or dowel pins, but uh, at least for now we want to get some of this excess off uh, make it a little easier once we do get to finishing up the uh, sanding on the frame.